I'm in Ethiopia, but currently in Addis Ababa. This city never stops to amaze me. I mean, I've been to Addis Ababa more time. I think I've been in Addis Ababa more than any cities in Africa. And any time that I come in here, you see something new. You know, like, I feel like the development of this country is growing so fast. Because the last time I came here, you didn't see all of this, man. Waves make you smile, waves make you smile. Good evening to you all. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. And uh, I'm back again with another thought provoking episode. I mean, I never thought I would be sitting down talking about this whole issue that is happening in Ethiopia because I'm not a big fan of politics. I don't like talking about politics. What I intend to do is to change the narrative of Africa by bringing you. Um, positive stories that are happening on the continent. Uh, you will never see what am I working with any politician. You will never see what am I being paid by a political leader to say something that is not true. Whatever you see in my videos or whatever I talk about in my videos are things that I've actually witnessed with my naked eyes. The reason why I decided not to talk about the um, no more hashtag that is happening on social media was um you all know what is happening in Ethiopia the Tigran war that is happening in Ethiopia at this very moment i'm not saying that something like this is not happening those of you who got my tweet wrongly i was talking in terms of why i was scared of going to Ethiopia to the extent that when i was going to um Kong, from Congo to Ghana, I had to pass through, uh, what do you call it? I had to pass through um, Togo to Ghana because I was extremely scared just because of what I saw on BBC about what is happening in Addis Ababa. People telling me that, um, I mean, the news that I watched, they said, um, how do you call it? Um, there is currently there is war in Addis Ababa, which made me scared of going to um Ethiopia, the, the fact that I had to even decide not to sleep in Ethiopia for a night, so I had to fly directly to Ghana. And I was just passing through Ethiopia yesterday to my final country for the year. And in fact, I was in Ethiopia for 24 hours and I was just walking around Addis Ababa and um, I realized that what I saw on the media was not true. Like to the extent that I was scared of going to Ethiopia and I felt like, ah, I need to record this video. Good morning from Addis Ababa. And uh, yeah, I was a little bit scared coming to Addis Ababa just because of what I've been seeing on the media that currently there is war going on. But uh, I'm here myself, you know? Um, and yo, I see people just minding their own business. People are just doing their own stuff. Um, yo, I mean, if if you have never been here, you might definitely believe what they were showing you because uh, to the extent that I was even scared of coming here, the last time I had to book my ticket direct to Ghana because I didn't want to sleep in Addis. But this time around, I had to just come as the guy who is trying to change the narrative of Africa. I just had to take a bold step and then come here and check it out if what i've been seeing is true but i don't know but um, if you can see what i'm showing you the city is a bit calm vibrant right now at the moment people are just doing their day-to-day -day activities cars are moving as usual and i am here minding my own business yeah so this is how it looks like in addis ababa right now i don't know if you guys can see it I'm actually in a car moving, so sorry if you can't see, but this is the situation in Addis. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I posted this video and um, a lot of people are sending me DM emails telling me that I got blood on my hand. I've been paid by the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, of which I don't even know where he lives. I don't know when at all will people start associating um, the truth with being paid. 
I don't get it. You know, I went to Rwanda. I promoted Rwanda. They said I've been paid by Kagame, and Kagame has a lot of blood in his hand. Like, all the time I get blamed. I, I don't even understand. Listen, I, I'm cool with all those things, but I just want to tell you that I just wanted to share my experience of being in Addis Ababa for 24 hours. It was not even a YouTube video. It was a Twitter video that I wanted to post just to let you guys know that this is what is happening in Ethiopia. All right. I mean, Addis Ababa is not the entire Ethiopia, but according to the news that we watch on BBC, they said the war is moving from the north to where? To Addis Ababa. And I was in Addis Ababa and nothing of that sort was happening. That does not mean that I'm not, I'm saying that there is no war going on in the north. I've never been there. And if it's something like this is happening, it must be resolved by the people of the country. Let me tell you something. It's only unity that will solve whatever that is happening in Ethiopia. It's time for all the tribe in Ethiopia to come together as one, right? to fight whatever is happening. Trust me, sometimes I say we need a tribalist Africa. People say that tribes are our identity, but tribalism has cost Africa so much. I'm not saying we are not proud to be who we are, but we are so divided because of our tribe, because of our religion, because of what we believe in, which is taking Africa back. Because whatever is happening in Ethiopia is, is, is more like tribalism, man. I, I'm not Ethiopian, neither a politician, but what I have read, it all boils down to tribalism. And I will also want to plead with um, the entire Africa to stand with Ethiopia, to support Ethiopia, to stand behind Ethiopia. Um, it was so sad to see um, the Zambian president tweeting that um, what do you call it? He has to evacuate his people from Addis to Zambia, which makes me feel like the Pan-African spirit is dead. I feel like Kwame Nkrumah, Julius Nyerere, they will be in their graves and they will be crying that, is this what we started? The Pan-African spirit in Africa is dead. And that's what I said they need to dissolve the AU because the AU is not even saying anything. The AU is no longer functioning. The truth is just one. And I will always stand by the truth. Nothing by the truth. I stand with Utopia in terms of um, the no more saying that the world... The Western media is trying to make uh, things worse in Utopia. But I'm also saying that Yes, there is war going on in Ethiopia, and the people of Ethiopia are the only people that can solve their own problem. Let's solve Africa's problem with Africa's solution. This is what we need. We don't need outsiders to come to solve our problems for us. We don't need to call on BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera to come and report news for us. We need to start as Africans to report what is going on in our own continent. Once again, I stand with the entire Ethiopia. I never said I stand with Addis Ababa, but I'm telling you that I was in Addis Ababa and Addis Ababa is not what the entire media is making Addis Ababa looks like, like in terms of um, it's scary to be in Addis Ababa, it's dangerous, it's not dangerous. I was in Addis Ababa yesterday, and I really had a good time. But before I end this video, I also want to tell Ethiopian Airlines, stop taking layover passengers to top 10 hotel, because that hotel doesn't deserve passengers. I mean, a hotel room, the scent is out of hands. As soon as you enter your room, to the extent that the bus that they were supposed to take us to the airport to catch our next flight, it was full, but it was still forcing us to get into the bus, which I think is ridiculous. I think I got mad. I stepped down. I told them that, okay, you know what? Let me just use Wi-Fi. As soon as, um, what do you call it? The people left the hotel, they switched off the entire Wi-Fi. So it's open a line. I'm pleading with you guys to 
check on that. And uh, yeah, um, peace to all Ethiopians. We stand with you as Africans and um, we will always support and be with you all. My name is Mr. Ghana, baby. If you are new to the channel, feel free, like the video, share to subscribe and be part of the 1 million family. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.